In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install Kali Purple on VirtualBox. So what you want to do is go to Kali.org and then select Get Kali. From there, if we scroll down to where it says Kali Purple, and then what we want to do is just download the ISO file here from this little download icon. So depending on your internet speeds, it might take a while to download as it's 3.5 gigabytes. So once downloaded, we want to go into VirtualBox and then we want to select new. We want to give our virtual machine a name. So I'm just gonna call it Kali Purple YouTube Vid. And then this folder here is where we want to store this virtual machine. So I have a dedicated drive for storing virtual machines. And then the next option below is ISO image. So if we just select the little drop down there and then we go to other, you then want to navigate to where the ISO file saved when you downloaded it from the website, which can be found normally in your downloads folder. But what I do is I take them and put them into a separate folder on their own. So what you want to do is select the Kali Linux 2023 1A installer purple and then select open now we select next and then here you want to allocate your virtual machines resource so what I like to do is because I've got the capacity for it is bump this up to 12 but I'll probably say you can get away with around 8 gigabytes of memory and then for CPUs I bump this up to 4 just to make it run smoother when you're actually inside the virtual machine. But like I said, this will depend on your computer's resource. So what you want to do is select next, and then you want to allocate a disk size for the virtual machine. So what I'm gonna do in this instance is just bump it up to 30 gigabytes. And then I'm going to select next. And then I'm gonna select finish. So from there, I'm going to select start. It's going to make this full screen. I'm going to click into the user interface here and then I'm going to press enter for graphical install. Okay, so what you want to do is select your language. I'm going to select English and then I'm going to select United Kingdom. And then I'm going to select the keyboard layout, which for me is British English. Okay, here you want to select a host name for your virtual machine. I like to keep it as defaults, so I'm just going to leave the host name as Kali. Okay, we're not connecting to a domain in this instance, so I'm just gonna leave that blank and uh, select continue. Like I said, I like to keep with sort of the name Kali, so I'm just gonna call the username Kali. Here it will auto populate based off what you selected on the previous window. So I'm just going to leave it as Kali for now. And then I want to select a password for this virtual machine. And then select continue. Okay, so I want to keep it on the default settings. So use entire disk. And then it's already selected the disk available to be installed on. So I'm just going to select continue. And then I'm going to leave the option all files in one partition. Okay, so make sure the finish partitioning and write changes to disk is selected and then select continue. And then yes, I want to write changes to these disks. So here we come to a software selection page. Okay, so what I advise is just to leave the defaults and then select continue. So once it's finished installing all of the software, it's going to ask you to install the bootloader. So what we want to do is select yes and then select continue. And then we want to select the drive that we're going to install it on. 
and then select continue. So once the installation has finished, we want to select continue to reboot the machine. Okay, so what you want to do is log in with the username and password that you selected earlier. So remember, I just I just called it Cali, and then I'll put my password in, and then select login. And then what I can do is just go to view and then full screen mode, and it should go to full screen. So what we need to do now for a complete and full install of Kali Linux on VirtualBox is install the guest editions. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open terminal up here. And then I'm going to type out the following command which I will link in the description below. It will ask for you to type in your password when you use sudo. Okay, so what we want to do is go to the VirtualBox taskbar, go to devices and then insert guest editions. And then if we go to the file system, right click and select mount. And then what we want to do is just copy everything that's in this folder and then just drop it into your downloads folder. In the terminal window, what we want to do is just change directory to that downloads folder. And then what we want to do is just change the permissions on one of the files. So if I just go to ls to list all the contents of that folder, and then if I type shimod 7, Five, five, and then what I want to do is copy this file here and then just paste it in there and hit enter and now what I want to do is sudo full stop forward slash and then paste that same file in that bit there and then select enter and then select yes Okay, so once completed, what we want to do is just uh, reboot the system. So what I'm just going to type in is reboot. I might have to elevate and put sudo there. And then if I was just to log back in again, your virtual machine should be good to go. So just to quickly tidy a few things up, if we go back to our file system, okay, so what we want to do is just right click and then unmount the um, VBox guest editions. And then if we head over to our downloads, if we just select all the items in there that we copied from the guest editions mounts earlier and then right click and then just move to wastebasket okay I don't know if you just saw there but you might have to just click the up arrow on the right side just to remove the uh, the guest editions